Hi, my name is Pop. This is a video, a tutorial in Ubuntu Basics, and I am demonstrating some old little tiny computers from a bygone era that ran in DOS only. The first one is a Hewlett Packard 95LX. It was a, called a clamshell style computer, and it ran on two AA batteries, DOS only, no graphics, except for the graphics that were available in CGA and those graphics were limited and I'll show later how you can uh, run flight simulator in these. This first model was 40 column only and it was very easy to see without glasses. Uh, there were dedicated keys in it for running seven applications filer, communications, appointment, phone, memo, Lotus 1, 2, 3, and then Hewlett Packard's really excellent calculator. These were built to last, and they were built during the days when Hewlett Packard was a very, very highly thought of name in instrumentation. Uh, the calculators which they made ran with reverse Polish notation. In other words, you didn't use the equals key. You did things backwards. But they put in a version of Lotus 123, and Lotus 123 was the very great word, pro uh, uh, I'm saying word processor. It's a spreadsheet that came after VisiCalc and before uh, Borland came out with Quattro Pro, and then before Microsoft bought Excel from the Apple people. And this calculator was actually a computer and you could do all sorts of things with it. You could run DOS in it, uh, any DOS program, but you were limited to a 40 column screen. And the two AA batteries lasted, oh, I don't know, a couple of months or so. You could get rechargeable ones. In the side of it, you were able to put in extra memory. In those days, memory was very expensive. They came out with another model after this one. This is the 95LX. And then they came out with the 100, the 200. The big one was the 200. Uh, I, I mean big in the sense, it was the same size, but it was big in the sense of sales. And this also came with a uh, version of Lotus 1, 2, 3, Quicken, and so on. I put video display editor in it, and I've also got flight simulator in it. This was the flight simulator that was developed by Bruce Artwick and sold to Microsoft. His company was called Sublogic. And uh, my uh, flight simulator was one of the biggest money makers ever for uh, Microsoft. Let's see if I can find it in here. It This screen is 80 column and it is so small that you cannot really read it without glasses. I'm going to go down and find F. Uh, you could put macros and stuff in and uh, start it up uh, with a key press, but I didn't never bother doing that. Let me just run F Flight Simulator EXE. And this is CGA, not EGA or VGA, and it's starting right up. I'm getting a warning there that my batteries are about out. I've had the batteries in here for several years, I guess, and they still run. Now, you can't see it very well. Uh, uh, that's the limitation of my camera here. Uh, this is a full CGA screen, and it's the same screen that you got when you used it on a desktop. In fact, it is the same program that ran on a desktop. In those days, the desktops were amber monitors for the most part. That is to say, four shades of amber. And this is just four shades of gray. I have uh, additional memory put into the side of it. In those days, you could not afford memory like this. In fact, I don't think it was even available. But when I press this, uh, pull it out, you can see it's got four gigabytes and in those days nobody nobody had four gigabytes oh gracious no and there was a limitation with DOS DOS 
would not accept anything that large. And in those days, you would get, oh, gee, I don't know, um, uh, just a few K, not even a megabyte. And uh, this is a form factor that was very large. It's called a compact flash. And then they got smaller and smaller and smaller. And I thought this video would be kind of interesting. Uh, it's got really nothing to do with Linux. You can plug these things in and uh, uh, send programs and files back and forth to, Ob to Ubuntu. You can buy these things on the internet. There are many companies which uh, resell them. Oh, I would guess about 50 bucks for this one. And, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 75 for this one. And they did have even larger versions of these. You could buy them also without any built-in software. My name is Pop, and this is Ubuntu Basics. And I thank you very much.